Well, thank you, Donna. My, once again, my name is Sam. This is my lovely wife, Madeline. Today we're going to juice, introduce to you a green juice that will feed your cell, provide unlimited energy to your body so it can take you through the day. Now, Madeline, do you remember why we started juicing? Oh, yes. Um, Sam, we started juicing, like you said, Juicing is an excellent source, an excellent way to add nutrients to your body. All those good for you vitamins, minerals, chlorophyll, antioxidants that are excellent at revitalizing your cells, all in an eight ounce of juice. Excellent. Delicious. Today we'll be using a centrifugal juicer. There are many other more expensive juices on the market but we chose this one because it will serve the purpose that we need for today. All right, so Madeline, could you read to us the ingredients for today's juice or smoothie? Yes. Today for our green juice, we have um, kale, spinach, cucumbers, apples, celery, ginger, to add a little kick to the juice. All right, so what will we be juicing first? The first item we're going to juice is spinach. Spinach is an excellent source of beta carotene. And so how much spinach do we need, Sam? Just a handful. And then again, it depends how much you're juicing for the day. If you're juicing for breakfast or lunch, um, you can juice the whole bundle of spinach because it will provide you with about 48 ounces of juice. The best way to juice leafy vegetables is at a slow speed. That way you'll get the most amount of juice from it. The next item we want to juice is kale. Kale is classified as super whole food. So Again, kale is another one of those leafy vegetables that you have to juice very slowly so that you can get the most out of it. So if I don't like spinach or kale, is there a substitute? Can I use more of one or the other? Yes, you can definitely use more of spinach because it has less of a potent taste than kale does. Okay. The next item we're going to use is celery. Celery is an excellent source of silicon, which is really good for beauty. The reason I changed the speed is because it's better to juice celery, apples, cucumbers at a higher speed. Okay, what's next? And the next item is cucumbers. One cucumber is enough. Okay. Now Sam is going to add um, a green apple to the drink because green juice tends to be very potent. But when you add a green apple or an apple to it, it adds a sweetness which make it, makes it less potent. And then the last item he's going to add is ginger. Ginger is excellent because it adds a kick to your juice. Now the ginger, it depends how spicy you like your juice. I love ginger. So you can usually put it inch to two inches, but I love ginger, so the bigger the better. That's right. <laughs> now we're going to taste the juice. Thank you. And this is really green. And ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to, uh, Ooh, we're not the excellent. only ones who's going to taste the juice. Our team members will be passing out a taste sample of the very same juice that we just made. We hope that you enjoy it and choose to try it at home. It looks beautiful and it delicious. Does. This is really good, Sam and Madeline. It's really good. I mean, mm. I was introduced to it juicing. It tastes really good. I was introduced to juicing by my mother, you know, and we've incorporated this into our family. So this is definitely that, you know, our friends here and at home can actually incorporate into their diet as well. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And if you're one of those people who are trying to lose weight, if you, you can incorporate a juicing diet for about two to three weeks, and I guarantee you, you'll see results. On top of that, you will not lose energy. You will not get hungry, especially when you juice with a green juice. I've done it many times, and you're not hungry at all. Not even when lunchtime comes. Yes. All right. Okay. So the juice um, that you're getting a taste of has so many health benefits to it. It's good for fighting heart disease, neurological damages, such as Alzheimer's. It's good for, it adds luster to your hair, and it stimulates digestion and circulation in your body. So it's excellent. All right, so Sam and Madeline, thank you so much for joining us and for sharing with us this wonderful recipe. I hope you friends will try it when you go home and incorporate this into your diet because this is one of the best things you can do for your health. So if you can't eat your veggies, you can at least juice your veggies and it will go directly into your bloodstream and this is all for your health. Yes. So now Andrew and Hillary, over to you.